is Orianna. He kept control of the lane, he had superior farm. Right now, the two junglers of our featured matchup, they're running toe to toe. It's a level 3 diamond, and he'll take the big wolf. Takes the big wolf and actually landing the Q here on towards RNA. This could force a flash out of RNA, you know, and it's fair to say against SK, they had a big lead, but look at this diamond has come around the back. And Kevin, as Mundo, not got his ultimate just yet. That's a good briefcase thrown in there. And Diamond actually taking quite a lot of damage there. And he might have to just back off. Yep, they've not got the damage at this point to finish off a Mundo. Battle throws down his ultimate. However, now here comes Lee. Oh, they kick back there on towards Kerp, who separates them both with the barrel. He's gonna body slam away as well with the use of his flash and he gets away if RNA comes in he doesn't have that assault and battery so they need to draw out this bait a little bit longer before RNA has got that guaranteed lockdown maybe once Diamond is gone, this is the signal now to go, and they've done it! Yeah, they have Diamond out of that one. There's the ultimate coming out of Leona, and True Shot Barrage comes across as well. In the end, they're not able to pick up a kill, but Creatin going aggressive. The Zap will slow him down. They've landed the hook as well, but Gambit can't follow through, and Millennium bully them out. If Edward sticks around, Assault and Battery's available. RNA may throw himself in. Yeah, they've thrown the box down there. There is RNA going down. He's taken a lot of damage and actually gets away from the turret, but look at this. Warwick's coming around the back. They're all low. This could be disaster! This could be disaster for Millennium! Darian gonna ulti in towards Aranea. Creatin going low. Have they got the damage to finish him off? One or two more hits will do it. Uses a barrier. It's a kill for Diamond. There is Kevin now in the bottom lane. And Gambit walk off. That's three for one. Dragon pick up, so a little bit more global gold on his side of the map. They've caught Edwin at great Zenith. Great indeed. And the box goes down and that stops Jay Ree from pushing any further. I'm a little unsure about where he wants to move. See, uh, yes, it does catch out Creatin. There comes Genja. That was a brilliant hook coming in, but Creatin able to walk away. There's the chompers onto Jerry, which means he takes a lot of damage. Genja has the lantern there for safety, but he's happy to do the damage. There's Whoa. a super mega death rocket. Two lane of Millennium backwards. Alex and Diamond are trying to roam. Sonic Wave is caught. Arena, and here comes Alex. Oh, Alex coming in there as well, but they couldn't quite get behind them. Get that kick on there, that's what Diamond was looking for. Throw one back into the team. Millennium have replied by coming over to this bottom side. I think Gambit might want to be heading away from this one. There's a barrel, it locks down two of them. Edwards a dead man, Kirk gets that. Assault and battery goes all the way through the wall. There's a solar flare as well. Genja's not getting out of this one. That will be Aranea's kill, and Millennium turning around just like that. Support already coming in from Warwick. It may be too late for Dragon. Smite is available. The question is who's going to get it? Oh, they've got time here. I see Darian going straight into the middle of them. The uh, Dragon is actually taken in the end by Gambit, but we can see how low they've got. Alex Hitch finally joins at the front side, though. Aranea's surely going to fall here, and Warwick will surely be chasing straight through onto things, although he is a little bit low, so they need to be careful with this one. Briefcase not connected, and only one death so far in this fight. That's on Edward's side. Gambit did get the Dragon, though. Start to show for them. CS lead in the mid lane is quite They're going big, in. and they are going to go in here, but I'm not sure that Alex will fall to this one. There's a lot to throw in there, a lot of CC. The barrel comes in, Alex knocked around all over the place, and well, it's hard to escape from that one. Whether they want to try and focus this mid tower, there are four members of the team. There's a teleport coming in from Darian. It's being followed by uh, uh, Kevin, he's caught. Yeah, they hooked him in actually underneath the tower, and look at that, down to half health. Darian falling at the front, there's Diamond coming in from the side. Creatin's gone very low. Super Mega Death Rocket not really having the impact they'd have liked. This is a big, messy fight, but everyone from Millennium going low there at the back. We see Genja now chasing down. Can they finish Creatin? There's the Arcane ship. Darian's still chasing. Zap! Max Rage to get another one. And here's Darian flashing his way through. One more should do it. Can he get it? Yes, he can. Darian picks up that one. And just like that, Gambit picking up three kills to back away. But it's not over just yet. Aranea's charging up. Aranea's charging down. He goes down on the inner turret and this is going to be a tower as well for Gambit. Biggest thing that led to his death. Yeah and it's what we talked about very early on how Ezreal is very you know, difficult to deal with. Darian is now getting caught out. Can they kill him? Well it wouldn't be a week of LCS action without Darian getting caught out. Whether they can finish off a kill against him is another matter here because the rest of Gambit <laughs> actually coming down and Darian just walking away and he's actually going to ulti in on towards RNA here. Is he going to be able to pick up the kill from it? There is the rest of the team. The hook lands onto RNA. 
Darian, you have all the swag. And look at Diamond, he's come around the back. He's a little bit out in no man's land, but he'll get the kick into the hook. What a combo from Gambit. Box goes down. Now they're looking for even more as they focus Kerb. He's going to use the Zonyas. They surround him and hunt him down. It's Darian that picks up that kill. It's as well. It's not over. He's done that. It, uh, it's not over just yet. It's going to be close. Four towers, that's five towers in inhibitor. Now they want another fight. There they go, pushing straight in. Alex, it's right down the middle of them. Kevin trying to get away. It doesn't matter how tanky Mundo is. They've got enough damage to finish the thing off. And Alex almost getting involved in that one as well. This is a second inhibitor going down for Gambit. Gambit could push on for the yeah. win if they wanted to. It's a 5v4. Most of their ultimates are basically going to be available. The box is coming up, as is Infinite Duress. If Creatin sticks too close, Darian will most likely jump on his head. Baron Buff is slowly wearing out, and my word, have Gambit made it effective. They can finish the game right now. They've got full HP here, Gambit, thanks for that regen. And they're actually going to go in on towards Kirk. There's a kill for Edward. Are they going to go for finishers here? Yes, they are. Aaron Ayer locked up. He goes to Genja at the back. He will be finished off, though, by Genja. The first Nexus turret is actually down. The second one's going to be made short work of, and Gambit head over towards the fountain. A dance by Darian will seal victory for Gambit as they go 2-1 to one here in the LCS.